And I'm like, why are you waiting for me? She says she wants to see where I live. She wants to go and see where I live. And I'm thinking to myself, why does she want to go to where I live? I said, okay, no problem. And this is about midnight, okay? This is like late. So after we worked, after I was done, we drove, she drove in her car, I drove in mine to where I lived. At the time, I was renting a room, not an apartment, not a house. I was renting a room in the three bedroom house. The other rooms were rented. I was living in one of the rooms. So I brought her into my room. My mattress was on the floor, I sat on my mattress. She kind of knelt on my mattress beside me and we just were there and I was just chilling. <laughs> and she was chilling as well. Then she broke the silence and asked where my underwears were. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this is kind of weird. And I obliged, I said, that's where they are. So she was going through my underwear. And I sat down there and I was like, okay. After she did her thing, I sat down there and I said to myself, I don't know why people get tempted. I'm not tempted. <laughs> In my mind, I said, I'm not tempted. Now, if she took her clothes off, it may have been a different story. But I sat down there, I'm like, why do people get tempted? I'm not tempted. Then just for a few seconds later, all of a sudden, I started feeling warm. All of a sudden, I'm feeling warm. I'm like, what? what is this? I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to cut this off right now. Then she got up and she said, you know what? I'm going home. I said, okay, no problem. In fact, I said I was going to escort her out, but I basically drove, she drove in her car. I drove after her all the way to her house. When we got to her house, she got out of the car and just went straight home. She didn't say good night. She just, she just left. And I wasn't familiar with the neighborhood. I'm wondering, how do I get out of here? She didn't even say good night. She just, she just left. And I'm wondering, what's she upset about? What, what is she upset about? I was able to maneuver and find my way back home. The next day, she walks up to me. And she said, she asked me if she intimidated me. Do, do, do I intimidate you? She was asking me that. I'm like, no. No, you don't, you don't intimidate me. But to cut a long story short, I think she wanted me to sleep with her. And she was trying to figure out why didn't this guy sleep with me? But what I'm thinking is, wait a minute. Why would you think I'm going to sleep with you? God bless you. Why would you think I'm going to sleep with you? I've been preaching to you. And I know that it wasn't the best approach now that I'm older. I've been preaching to you, asking you to come to church, telling you about church, telling you about the Bible. Why would you think I want to sleep with you? What kind of guy do you think I am? Maybe she thought I was just like every other guy that she knew that go to church, preach, quote scripture, Go to conferences, read books, and yet sleep around. Maybe the couple that wanted me to have protection, maybe they weren't convinced about my walk with God because they've known plenty of people like me who go to church, quote scripture, and yet have casual sex. That should not be the case. 